Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 23, Section 1, Reactions of Beta Dicarbonyl Compounds, more specifically, the Claisen condensation. The Claisen condensation occurs when two esters form a beta keto ester in basic solution. It is important that the base used should be the same alkoxide ion as the leaving group. This prevents transesterification, which would occur if you use a different alkoxide ion. In this case, we're using ethanoate as the leaving group, which means the base needs to be sodium ethoxide. A successful Claisen condensation requires an ester with two alpha hydrogens, one to form the initial enolate anion, and the second to form the enolate anion of the resulting beta keto ester. In step one, we have the removal of an alpha hydrogen by our base. This gives us our resonance stabilized enolate anion. The pKa's of the conjugate acids of the alcohol and the alpha hydrogens help the enolate anion formation. Because the alpha hydrogen of an ester is the weaker acid and the thoxide ion is the weaker base, the position of equilibrium for this step lies very much toward the left. The concentration of the enolate anion is very low compared with that of the ethoxide ion and ester. Thus, there is an excess of ester to react with the small amount of enolate anion that forms. Attack of the enolate anion of one ester on the carbonyl carbon of another ester gives a tetrahedral carbonyl addition intermediate. This intermediate has an ethoxy leaving group. This next step, the lone pair of the oxygen forms a double bond with the carbon, which kicks off the ethoxide leaving group, giving us the beta keto ester. The overall condensation is driven to completion by the acid-base reaction between the beta keto ester, which is the stronger acid, and the ethoxide ion, which is the stronger base, to give ethanol, which is the weaker acid, and the anion of the beta keto ester, which is the weaker base. And finally, we have the protonation of the enolate anion, which gives us the beta keto ester.